Hi, I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. Today we're making baba ganoush or roasted eggplant dip. This is one of my most popular recipes on my Instagram, and if you haven't joined me over there, please do. My Instagram is at Marie Saba, and I've got lots of easy and fun ideas over there and would love to connect with you. Well, I'm not Lebanese, my husband is, and through my marriage with him and getting to know his family and extended relatives and extended relatives, I have really come to appreciate all the delicious food of the Lebanese culture. And it's now one of my favorite foods to cook and eat, and so I'm really excited to share this one with you. Let's get started. So first, let's walk through the ingredients and equipment real quick. The first thing you need is an eggplant. And when you're choosing an eggplant at the grocery store, you always wanna look for one that is has a nice deep uh, purple color, has a nice green top. When it starts to get kind of brown or moldy, you wanna avoid that. This one has been in my fridge for a little bit, so it's starting to get brown, but when I bought it, it was nice and green on top. Of course, as with buying any produce, you wanna avoid um, damage, cuts, bruises. This will work, it'll be just fine, but generally if you're you know, picking out an eggplant, you wanna avoid the cuts and bruises. The other thing to note when you're picking an eggplant is you want to pick, if you can, a male eggplant. I know that sounds crazy, but here's why. So female eggplants carry the bulk of the seeds. So a lot of the inside of the eggplant will be seeds. Seeds tend to be more bitter. So if you're using a female eggplant, you can expect more seeds and more bitter result. So if you can, you want to buy the male eggplant. Well, how do you do that? The female tends to have this little, what they call the belly button here or where the flower grew. It tends to be longer, like a dash, kind of a flat, long belly button here. And it also is a little deeper. So it goes deeper in and it's a little bit longer. That is likely a female eggplant. The male eggplant, by contrast, is rounder here and it's not as deep, it's more kind of flat across. Some are gonna fall right in the middle. This one's like kind of looks like a dash, but then it kind of goes in here. So don't get hung up on this, but you know, when you're looking, if you can try to get one that tends to be a little rounder, well, that's what you're going for. Okay, so once you have your eggplant, what's next? Now we'll need tahini, and this is three tablespoons tahini. Tahini is ground sesame seeds, and if you can, I do recommend getting a really high quality tahini. This is one of my favorite brands of tahini. It's called Alwadi Tahini, and I actually get this on Amazon in bulk just because it's easier. Another great place to try is a Mediterranean market. If you have that nearby your house, you can ask the owner for his recommendation or find one like this one is produced in Beirut, Lebanon, and it's got a delicious nutty flavor, um, not quite so bitter. So I do highly recommend finding a very high quality tahini for the baba ganoush. Next up is lemon juice, one tablespoon fresh lemon juice. We'll also need one clove of garlic. I prefer a small garlic. You can definitely put more if you like it. I kind of like the garlic a little on the mild side. My husband likes it super garlicky, so we kind of meet in the middle with a medium sized clove. And finally, we'll need olive oil and salt and pepper. To mix up the eggplant, you can chop it with a knife. Um, for kind of a chunkier texture, or you can use, like I'm using here, it's a mini food processor. I love this mini food processor, and if you don't have one, I do recommend it as a, one of my favorite kitchen tools. To cook the eggplant, we're going to use a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, and the aluminum foil will make it a lot easier to clean up because the eggplant gets pretty charred and can kind of leak some of its juices, so it becomes kind of a mess. Do you recommend the foil to help with the cleanup? Okay, now that we have our ingredients and our equipment that we need, let's get cooking. The first step is to roast the eggplant. You can do this on an outdoor grill if you like, but we're gonna do it today under the broiler in the oven. So the broiler, if you're not familiar with that, is where the heat comes from the top of the oven. And it's generally an exposed fire, and so you get a really nice char on the eggplant. Baking comes from the bottom, so we're not baking, we're broiling, so you wanna to broil and if there's a setting you'll set it to high. 
Then we'll just put our eggplants on the baking sheet and I'm gonna prick them with a knife. This is an essential step and one that I have forgotten before. You need to prick it because if you don't, it will explode in the oven and that is a mess to clean up. So don't forget to prick your eggplant. I just go around and kind of prick it on all sides. Same like you would do for a potato. Prick this one as well. Now we'll put these in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. You wanna get them really charred on all sides. So every 10 minutes, you're gonna give it a turn. And you'll know they're done when the skin is completely charred and the interior of the eggplant, the flesh, has kind of deflated. So I'll walk you through along the way, but that's kind of the big picture of what we're going for. Let's get these in the oven. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna grab the eggplant out of the oven and give them a turn. Okay, so you can see here, this is starting to get nice and charred. It kind of dries out and gets much darker color. So that's what we're going for. We're just gonna give this a quick turn and do some on the other side. And we're just gonna keep doing that until the whole thing is nice and charred and deflated. So these go back in the oven now for about 10 more minutes. Okay, you can see here it's really starting to get nice and charred and the flesh is starting to deflate. So that's what we're going for. We're gonna give it another twist. Back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Now it is starting to look really, really, really charred. You can see the liquid that comes out is getting charred. It's really, really starting to deflate and burn, but don't worry, that's what you want. <laughs> so we're gonna give it one more turn here. We'll pop that in for about five more minutes and then cool and peel the eggplant is the next step. Here is our nicely charred eggplant. I know that does not look very delicious, but I promise it will. Okay, we'll let these cool now for probably 15, 20 minutes so we can work with them. So we're just gonna peel off the skin and it should kinda come right off the eggplant and you'll just set that aside. Now here's one tip that I actually learned from somebody on my Instagram feed. A lot of people have commented and told me their tips or variations on baba ganoush. Some people use tomatoes, some people use some Greek yogurt. And one person told me, leave a little bit of the skin on the eggplant, put that in the blender with it, and that will give you an even smokier flavor. So I do that now and I love it. I'm just gonna chop off the top like that. And then all this is trash over here. The the charred skin and the, the top. Now this I think I guessed was a male eggplant and I'm looking at it now and it looks like it's got quite a bit of seeds in it. So this may well have been a female eggplant. Just goes to show it's not an exact science and the good news is, is that either way works. Whatever type of eggplant you get will be just fine. Let's grab our processor and we're going to put the eggplant and a little piece of skin right in there. There's a little piece of charred skin. Here's the eggplant. That goes right in there. Like that. Now we'll add three tablespoons tahini. Next is one tablespoon lemon juice. Then a small or medium clove garlic. About one tablespoon olive oil. And some salt. I'll start with about a quarter to a half teaspoon and we can add more if needed. Maybe a little pepper in there. And I always do a lot of pepper on top. Now you can also add one tablespoon Greek yogurt at this point if you have it. That adds even more creamy, but if you prefer it a vegan, then leave it out. Lock the lid on and give this a blend. Now let's pour this into our bowl here and this is ready to serve. Wasn't that easy? 
And what a great, delicious way to enjoy some eggplant. I love it when it's warm too, right? Right out of the oven. <laughs> Okay, now this is ready to serve. I'll top it with a little extra black pepper and have a taste. Yum. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It is incredible. It's so wonderfully smoky, a little tangy from the tahini and the lemon and the eggplant. Such great flavors and what a delicious way to enjoy all these veggies. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made this easy homemade eggplant by charring the eggplants in the oven and blending them up in a mini food processor. It was so easy to make. I really hope you get to try this one. If you do, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It means so much to us and also to YouTube. So be sure to give us a like. Also hit that subscribe button. We've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this and I don't want you to miss any of them. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you. Incredible. You just can't believe it's so easy to make and comes out so good.